Hi guys, welcome to your partner workout work, uh, warm up brief for Saturday the 9th. We're going to start your warm up with a Samson stretch. So lunge, reach up overhead. You're going to do 10 reps on each side here. After that, inchworm and a push up for 10 reps. Walk those hands out, do a push up, walk your hands back in. And then Tabata mountain climbers. I'll have Tiff demonstrate this one. She's going to take short steps, not like groiners, but just back and forth. Go ahead and rest. You're going to do that on for 20 seconds, off for 10, for four minutes or eight rounds. That will get your heart rate up and get you ready uh, for, uh, to attack this workout. To finish up your warm up, you're going to do two sets of front rack walking lunges. So Tiff will pick the dumbbell up and just 10 reps total of a lunge step touching her knee and then she'll put the dumbbell down and then I'll have her do five burpees. She's not going to jump over the dumbbell now, but uh, for right now, just a warm up, just nice, uh, regular old plain old burpees. So then we're going to start warming up for the dumbbell snatches in the workout. They're going to be alternating in the workout and we'll get to that point. But what I want you to start with is five dumbbell deadlifts on each side. Dumbbell goes between your feet and you'll stand up, touching each head of the dumbbell on the floor and standing up with a nice straight arm. Five on the right, five on the left. Then we're gonna go dumbbell, deadlift, and shrug. This is to teach you the timing. Stand up all the way, then shrug. Okay, you do five on the right, and then five on the left. After that, we're gonna do the whole movement, dumbbell snatch. You're gonna see she's gonna stand up all the way, then shrug, pull the elbow high, and punch up overhead. At the top, you'll see she freezes there, the dumbbells over the middle of her body and her elbows extended. Go ahead and rest. Once we get five on each side, then we're gonna practice the handoff in the middle. And what I want you to see here is that she's going to drop the dumbbell from one hand into her, oh, chalk it up, chalk it up. It's hot in here. Get, get some powder to uh, She's gonna switch from one hand to the other by dropping it into one hand. So I'll have you do four. That was a handoff. Yeah, it was more of a drop. I'm not warm. <laughs> My hands hurt. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, and practice switching back and forth for 10 reps. Once you got that, you're ready for the workout. The workout is going to be 20 rounds, 10 per person, and you're going to work together in an I go, you go fashion. So, Tiff's going to do one round of the workout. One round is 10 dumbbell snatches, what she was just doing five burpees jumping over the dumbbell. So she'll do a burpee on this side, jump to this side. That's one for five reps. So she'll end up on the uh, opposite side of where she started. And then she's gonna do 10 front rack walking lunges, which we practiced in the warm up, and then five more burpees. So 10, five, 10, five, that's a round. Then it will be my turn and I'll do 10, five, 10, five. Once we get 20 rounds done as a team, then we are done with the workout. The rounds should take something like a minute and a half to do, and uh, that times 20 is about 30 minutes. So the workout is a little bit longer, but you're gonna spend half of it just That's chilling, it. just chilling, just hanging out, watching your partner work out on Zoom. Go fast and, though. Uh, and try to go fast on each one. So take that moment of rest to can get control of your breathing and get ready to get to work uh, fast. For the cool down guys, we're gonna have you lay on the back, lay on your back, and bring your knees up into your chest, stretching your low back there, and then you can sit up on your butt, put your feet out in front of you, reach forward and stretch your toes, take a straddle stance and uh, reach for the middle, and then after you're all done with that, take a nice little walk, 400 meters, and uh, that's, that completes our week. I hope you guys had a great week, and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a, good, have a good rest day on Sunday.